and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new set, Tiny Gift Box Peacock and Turkey Add-on. This add-on is perfect for decorating the tiny gift box to turn it into either a peacock or a turkey, and you can see just how cute these guys come out. They are absolutely adorable. The peacock and turkey are the latest additions to our tiny gift box critter family, and we actually have 10 different critters that you can make now. Here is a look at those 10 different critters. We have a raccoon, a chick, a deer, a bunny, a turkey, a duck, a peacock, a bat, a cat, and a fox. And they are so cute all lined up like this. I just love seeing them all together. So these are the die pieces that are included in this set. And here you can see that we have a turkey or peacock face, our feather base, and then different sizes of feathers. We have feet, and then we have two wings, and what I've always called the gobble of the turkey, but I looked it up and it's actually called the snood. <laughs> so we have that, we've got a cute little pilgrim hat and cute decorative pieces for adding to the peacock style of this bird. So the first step is to take our tiny gift box box. The box creates all of these score lines for you. So we're gonna fold along all of those lines, creating those tabs along the side and folding all the way down in the center. The next step is to add some quarter inch double-sided tape to the outsides of all four of those tabs. Once we have tape on all of those tabs, we can remove the liner paper and then start to form the box. And forming this box is nice and easy. All you need to do is take that tab and just line it up with the outside edge of the box and work your way all of the way around. And you can see just how cute this tiny little box is. It's perfect for putting little notes inside or little candies or chocolates. First, we're gonna work on forming our turkey. So to color in his eyes and his beak, I've just got some scrap pieces of black and orange cardstock, that's our fake tan color. We'll just put some liquid glue around his eyes and his beak and just layer a little piece behind there. It can be messy cut because no one's ever gonna see this part. So you see, I'm just kinda eyeballing it, trimming off any of the excess, and then we can lay that right down onto the turkey and you'll see he'll have black eyes and an orange beak now. Next, we'll layer on that piece that I now know is called a snood, and we've cut that out of some chili pepper cardstock. And the whole face and base of the turkey has been cut from narwhal cardstock. These are those cute little wings cut from pencil eraser cardstock, and we're just going to layer those right to the back of his face. Then that'll get sandwiched onto the box. So I like to layer one, and then I can just eyeball and make the other one look exactly like it. Now we can take his entire face and attach it onto the box. He is already looking so cute. So next we're gonna add his little feet and those are cut from fake tan as well. And I like to put them on my mat and I actually use the grid mat to kind of line them up so they're nice and even. I'll add some liquid glue right to the end of them and then I can take the whole box and just press right down onto the feet. And you'll see just how cute that's gonna start to look. I just love forming all of these little tiny gift box critters. They're just adorable. So now we're gonna form our pilgrim hat. And the cool thing about this turkey is that you can add the Thanksgiving hat or not, depending on how you're going to use him. So we're gonna layer some black licorice cardstock, some chocolate bar cardstock, and then here's some sunflower cardstock to create this piece. Now it's time to work on his feathers. So we've cut that main feather piece from sunflower, and then our other pieces are cut from chocolate bar and fake tan. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your smallest piece, just add some tape runner to it, and line that right up so that the tip of the tail is going right to the center. And that little cut line in the middle, that's your guide as to where the center is. So you're gonna point all of those little pieces right towards that center line. Then we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna take each piece and line them up so that the end of that tail is pointed right at that center line. Then we're gonna flip it over and repeat the same thing. We'll add some tape runner to the smaller piece, also cut from the sunflower cardstock, and then we're gonna line that up, and you're gonna have that pointy end matching right up with that line in the center, and you'll see that your tail pieces are also gonna line up. So I like to pick it up, make sure everything's looking nice and lined up and perfect, and we can work our way up to the other side of the tail feathers there, and you can see just how pretty that is. Next, we're gonna work on the center tail feather. And this one's special because this is how we're gonna open up the box. So we're gonna take the two pieces and layer them together so that on both sides it has a nice finished edge. 
Then we can take our main tail feather piece, we'll add some tape runner to the back of the box right where that notch is, and then we can take the whole piece and line it up with the notch. The little curve in the feathers is going to match up perfectly with the notch in the box. Then we'll take some liquid glue and we're going to attach it right into that opening between the tail feathers and then take our center tail feather and attach it. So I'm just going to hold that in place and let it dry. And now this is the cutest part. When you pull the center tail feather, that's how you open the box, which I think is absolutely adorable. So you just kind of put it right there in place and then you could take that center tail feather and just pull up and that's going to open the box. So our turkey is looking so super cute. And now, ooh, that's how he opens. So cool, I just love it. Then last but not least, we can give our turkey his cute little accessory with his little Thanksgiving hat there. Just add some tape runner to the bottom and we can attach that right on there. You can put it in the center or off to the side, looks really cute too. I think he would make the cutest Thanksgiving place card. You could put someone's name across in a banner over those tail feathers and oh my goodness, it would be the cutest Thanksgiving table ever. So here we've die cut that same tiny gift box from some of the new dolphin cardstock, which is a perfect color for this peacock. We folded along the score lines, added our four pieces of tape to the tabs. We're gonna peel up that liner paper and then attach each of the tabs to the inside of the box and close it shut and now we're ready to decorate. We've cut the peacock's face from that same dolphin cardstock, and now we have the pieces cut from black licorice cardstock and fake tan cardstock. We're just trimming down this down, kind of eyeballing it, cutting it down with scissors, adding some liquid glue to the back of the face, and then we can layer on our black piece and our orange piece to color in the eyes and the beak of the little peacock. We've die cut the little detail for the top of his head from some sugar plum cardstock. We'll add some glue to that and then we can layer that right behind his head and I just love the decoration that that gives to this peacock. He's already transforming. Next we can add some tape runner to the back of his face and layer that onto our tiny gift box. I always like to make sure that that notch is in the back and facing up when I add the face on. Then we're going to add the feet the same way we did for the turkey. So I've lined them up on my grid mat, just adding two little drops of glue there. And then we can take the whole box and just put it right on top of the feet. I'm going to flip it over. I almost did it wrong there. <laughs> so I'm going to attach the feet there on the bottom and you can see how cute this little guy is looking already. Now we're going to start working on the interior pieces that are the little decorations for the feathers of the peacock. And when I cut these out of watercolor wishes paper, they just look a little bit too light to me. So I decided to take a V12 marker, a purple marker, and just color right over them just to darken them up a little bit. I wanted them to stand out on the feathers even more. So I went ahead and did that on all of these pieces. And then we cut the open pieces that are a part of the details out of sugar plum cardstock to match the little cute kind of feather things that are on the top of his head. So we'll add liquid glue to the back of these and then layer these on. Once we've done all of these, we can start to work on the feathers. And for the feathers, we're using one of the brand new cardstocks called Rainforest. We're also using Peacock and Mermaid, and the three of these together is so beautiful. I am in love with these three colors. So we've cut the base of the tail feathers from the Rainforest cardstock. And we're going to repeat the same thing that we did with the turkey, layering our feather pieces with the pointy end lining up with that cut line that's right in the center. So there we'll layer one on, lining up the center with the center cut line, and then we'll repeat that again with all of our colors. Once we're done with that side, we can flip it over and work on the back side. So we're going to do that, and not only lining them up there, but also lining them up with the backs of the other feathers. So we can line up the pointy end there with that cut line down the center, and then the outside edges of the feathers with the other feather that we just added on. So we'll repeat that again with Rainforest, Peacock, and then Mermaid, and then we'll repeat the pattern on the other side. Now at this point, these peacock feathers look gorgeous. You don't necessarily need to do those other little detail pieces. So depending on how much time you had to make your cute little peacock, you could leave it right here and it would look amazing, or you can start to add the cute little detailed pieces. So we're gonna layer those on at the ends of all of the feathers, lining up the point of the detail piece with the cut line that's in each of those feathers. So we'll work our way all the way around on both sides of this piece. Then once we have that done, we can start to glue together the two tail feather pieces that are gonna be the ones that open the box. So we'll tape those two together and then we can add the detail pieces to either side of those as well. 
Next, we'll add tape runner to the back of the box all around that area that has the notch. And then we can take our tail feathers piece and line that up with that notch. So the curved end in the feathers is gonna line up perfectly. We'll add liquid glue to that notch piece and then we can layer on that last tail feather. Once we let that glue dry, we're gonna have the cutest little turkey box. Oh my goodness, and once again, my favorite part is that you can pull the little tail feather and that's what opens the box. I don't know why I think that's so cute, but every time I do it, it just makes me giggle. And this guy is so adorable. What I would love to do with this guy is if I was giving someone a gift card that I had to print off the internet, I would print it out and roll up the little piece of paper and stick it inside that box. And it would be the cutest little birthday box in the whole world with that adorable little peacock. And here is a look at both of them together. I love that with one die set, you can make two different critters, the peacock and the turkey, which is great for year round because you've got someone great for fall and someone that's great for all the time, like the peacock. And they're just so adorable. Also, I had to show you guys this next photo. When I was taking pictures for the catalog, they ended up looking like they went to a portrait studio together. And I don't know why, but it made me giggle so much the thought of the turkey and peacock going to get their pictures taken. I hope it makes you smile today too. For the next project, we're going to be using this little guy on a card front instead of a box, and I love that there are different ways to use this really cute die set. This is our new Gold Rush cardstock that's so pretty and sparkly, and we're going to die cut that with a stitched rectangle. We've also got out some canned pumpkin cardstock as well that's going to look really great with this gold piece. This is our celebration scripty sentiments and we've taken out the happy Thanksgiving sentiment. We're gonna stamp that in some clear embossing ink and then sprinkle on some gold embossing powder which is gonna look beautiful with this gold rush cardstock. Then we can heat it up with our heat tool and have this beautiful shiny sentiment that looks so elegant and gorgeous. We'll add some foam tape to the back and layer that onto our card base. Next, it's time to start working on our turkey, and this time we're going to be mixing and matching some different colors. So we have canned pumpkin, fake tan, and sunflower cardstocks, and we only need to worry about the front of the tail feathers this time. Now we've cut his face from some chocolate bar cardstock, and we're gonna layer some black licorice cardstock behind to color in his eyes and his beak. This time we're gonna take his little feet and we're gonna add him directly behind his face instead of onto the box, since this guy is going to be going flat on a card and he's looking really cute with those little feet there. Then we'll take some wings and we're gonna layer those on. This time we're doing the wings in a different direction, which is a really cute look. So you can play around with that depending on what look you're going for. Then we're gonna take his face and we're actually going to layer it right onto the tail feathers instead of putting it on the box like we did before. So we'll add liquid glue to the center and then we can line him right up with those feathers and you'll see how adorable he's looking. Then we can take that center tail feather and add that right into that notch area, just like we did on the box, but instead we're putting it directly behind his face. Next, we can start to put together his pilgrim hat, which is black licorice cardstock, paper bag, and sunflower. We can also start to decorate the rest of him. So we're gonna add his snood on out of chili pepper cardstock, and then we can add his hat off to the side just a little bit, which I think is a really cute look. Here, we're playing with some of the small stitched leaves cut from paper bag, ground coffee, chocolate bar, sunflower, fake tan, canned pumpkin, and chili pepper, the most beautiful fall colors. After we get the layout of all of the leaves done, we can add liquid glue to each one, attaching them to the card base and some foam tape to the back of the turkey. And this card is all done and so cute. That gold rush cardstock adds so much to it. And I love the idea of using this guy on the front of a card, not just on that box. Today we were recreating a card by Lynette, so thank you so much, Lynette. And next up, we have some gorgeous cards by the design team. And first up, we have a beautiful card by Nicole, and I love how she added the outside in stitched pumpkin to the background with that cute sentiment. Here, I love how Elise cut the cute peacock out of some blue jay cardstock, and his green tail feathers are absolutely stunning. Grace got super clever and she put the peacock on a card front and when you pull that tab, the tail feathers move, which goes so cute with that shake your tail feather sentiments from the peacock before and after stamp set. I love this idea so much and I love him cut out of the guava cardstock too. 
Here, Letitia cut our turkey and boxes out of the new fall fling paper, and that is such a gorgeous look. These boxes by Elena are so cute. I love how she used her markers to add details to the wings. They look absolutely adorable. Megan created the cutest pull tab surprise. So we have that adorable little turkey. And then when you pull the tab, the other turkey comes out from behind the hill. And it's so cute and sweet. And then these turkey boxes by Melissa just blew me away. I love that she used the fall fling pattern paper on the leaves. It's the coolest look and I can't wait to try this myself. So I can't wait to see what kind of cute turkey and peacock boxes and cards you guys make. So please make sure to share them with us. If you want to check out any more videos, you can click here. You can also click to subscribe or click to learn more at lawnfawn.com. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.